I'm not sure how many Star Wars puzzle collection videos there are on YouTube, but lately I've been going through storage and now most of these totes are empty by now and there's more than these. But over the past couple of days, I've, I've found so many Star Wars puzzles in so many different boxes and I'm realizing, damn, I've collected so many of these. So I thought it would be kind of fun to go through them. I mean, they range all the way from current day all the way to like 1999. I know there's a bunch of these smaller uh, Attack of the Clones 2002 era puzzles, 50 piece. These probably would have run from like anywhere between 50 cents to a dollar back then. I found Obi-Wan, Darth Vader, Jango Fett, and of course Anakin. You have to have Anakin, especially for this movie. And last and certainly not least, you have Padme, which I had the biggest crush on Padme when I was a kid. Like I was 10 years old when this movie came out. So yeah, anything with Padme caught my eye for sure. Like looking over at this puzzle right here and it's not in good shape at all. But what's cool about this puzzle is I remember seeing like the trailer and, and like the, the commercials, the marketing for Attack of the Clones and immediately asking my mother if we could run to the store uh, to find Star Wars stuff. And there was like a ton of toys. And this was back like when it was a, like a whole aisle of Star Wars stuff, not like a half aisle and then reduced down to like a quarter of an aisle. And now it's just barely even anything. But these were sitting like underneath the lightsabers. And I remember picking this one out specifically. So this one has, I have good memories behind this one. And then I have this Leia and Padme puzzle, which looks very similar to the Anakin, uh, 100 pieces instead of 150. Now you see this $2 uh, sticker on there, this price tag. Um, what happened with this one is I found this one years later, like at a, at a thrift shop. And uh, I mean, I don't know what they were thinking when they made this. I mean, <laughs> I mean, if you look at Padme and Leia, they're, they're looking pretty damn good. Okay, and I see an Obi-Wan Kenobi in here. I'm curious if, yeah, okay. This also had the $2 sticker on it. So I must have picked this up alongside the Padme and Leia puzzle. Now that I think about it, it's kind of strange that Anakin and Obi-Wan have their own puzzles, yet Padme got grouped in with Leia. I keep coming back to this one because <laughs> this puzzle just, I think it's funny. It's interesting just how many of these I have from 2002. Like you can see that, that blue Star Wars, I think it was like the 25th anniversary packaging. Now these puzzles were in tens. This one didn't get opened for some reason, but this one over here did. I think they had like a whole series where there were different tens with different art styles. I actually think this one is the coolest. I don't know. This one's pretty cool too. I mean, it has Vader, so. This one's interesting too, because it's in like a little, little tin case, little tiny 50 piece puzzle. Kind of like these ones right here. I want to say I picked this up at Walgreens, but uh, it's hard to tell. I even have these like lunchbox puzzles. I want to say that I got these at Party City. I was there with my old boss and he was like, oh, these are cool. You've got to get these. I'm not sure how many pieces. It's just in this box. If we open it. Oh, this isn't a puzzle at all. <laughs> what is this? Force Awakens stickers. This, no, this was just a lunchbox. Forget what I said. I was BSing the whole time. Okay, these are like cereal box things. But yeah, this is exactly what I mean. There's just so many things I have to go through with my storage. So, okay, this one is not a puzzle. <laughs> I was kind of wondering, where's the piece count? But I know for a fact this was. This had to have been a puzzle. Maybe, maybe it wasn't. I remember getting these at, uh, I want to say Party City. I guess it would be weird if they were a puzzle. What the hell? Jelly beans? <laughs> I'm telling you, I get the most random Star Wars uh, gifts. What are these? Oh, these are neat, like tags of some sort. Mannequin. Mace Windu. Jar Jar. Cake topper or something. Oh my god, the lightsaber pins. Do you remember these? These would be like in cereal boxes way back in the day. Kind of like the lightsaber spoons, but instead of spoons, they're pins. I swear that I had a puzzle that was like inside of a lunchbox or something. Like, like doesn't that seem like a weird combo thing they would do? All right, now I'm, I'm almost scared. What's in here? Yeah. Oh my God. These were like for cupcakes. Captain Rex. Yeah, my, my ex-girlfriend was a cake decorator and she would bring all this stuff home. Okay. Now 
This one's cool. All right, what's in here? Oh, look at the back. That's kick-ass. All right, let's see. Oh my, yo, okay. Now this is really cool. These were the Burger King cups. No, sorry, they weren't cups. They're, they're watches. These were 100% watches. And I've been looking for these. I wondered what happened to them. Anakin, Job of the Hut, Darth Maul, okay. <laughs> I gotta, I'm gonna make a video about those later, actually. All right, this one looks sealed. I have a good feeling about this one. This is definitely a, see, yeah, there it is. That's a puzzle for sure. And it's in a tin case. That looks kind of like a lunchbox, right? Okay, so that, at least I feel less like an idiot for thinking these were puzzles. <laughs> uh, buy two, get one free, $6.99. See, that's a great price for something like this, in my opinion. Like, I feel like nowadays this would cost like, like $15 to $20. Right, yep, and then this too is a puzzle, okay. Yeah, oh, thank God. I'm starting to think I lost my mind for a second. Now, it says it's a puzzle, but I'm skeptical at this point. Let's open it up <laughs> to be sure. Okay, <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a puzzle. A Vader puzzle. I don't know how many pieces. Let's see. Yeah, 48 pieces. So this is, this is more or less a lunchbox that comes with puzzle pieces. Yeah, and then we have this one here, a Christmas puzzle. 500 pieces. Uh, this is 3PO and R2. It's a Christmas style. I, I believe this was from like the like the 80s. Like Ralph McQuarrie uh, drew this. It was for like the Lucasfilm employee uh, Christmas cards. Uh, they had this one year and then they had uh, Yoda. And then this one was 300 pieces for this puzzle. But yeah, I love Christmas stuff. My mother finds this stuff and gets it for me. And uh, I'm, never, I'm never disappointed. And I've definitely opened this one. Vader, I believe this was Vader versus Luke. Yeah, yeah, 100 piece. I'm not sure when I opened this or when I put it together, but I can tell by the packaging on it, like this green right here, that this was from like 2013 for the Attack of the Clones re-release that never happened because Disney bought Star Wars and then canceled Revenge of the Sith and Attack of the Clones, unfortunately. But I do have from the Phantom Menace 3D from like 2012, this uh, like 3D foil Darth Maul uh, puzzle. Big lots for $6, 150 pieces. Not a bad price at all. Aside from Ahsoka and the beginning of this video, I think this Rogue One puzzle is the most recent one that I have. I've never opened this, but uh, Rogue One is my favorite Star Wars movie of the, uh, of the new series of films. And yeah, this, is, this was a must have. But the rest of these, I'm pretty sure, are all from at least a decade or longer. Like, I, I can just tell by looking at this thing. I, this might have been 1999 or 1998, 96, somewhere in there. Maybe even for, like, the special editions. I wish there was a date on it somewhere, but I can't find one. And I know this was from 99 for sure. Look at that Jar Jar logo. Jedi versus Sith puzzle. Turn off lights to reveal the hidden image. I wonder what the hidden image was. Okay, and I'm nervous about this one. I feel like this is just like a back-to-school pencil box type of deal. Who knows what's in it? If we can open it, there we go. <laughs> yeah, crayons, there we go. I can always use those. And a Star Wars coloring book. I'm telling you, my girlfriend back in the day, she used to buy me the most random Star Wars stuff. Anyway, moving on. I see a couple of miscellaneous items in here. Like little puzzle bags, 100-piece Millennium Falcon cockpit. Han Solo, Leia, and Chewbacca. This looks like something from like one of the old Legends novels, uh, which I appreciate. Yeah, that, that looks cool. If you know what book I'm talking about, uh, tell me. Ah, jelly beans. Yeah, if you know what book that's from, if it is from one, uh, I'd love to know which one it is. Uh, 100 piece, another, okay. William Falcon cockpit. So we have two of those. That's kind of funny. I wonder why I have two. And then, uh, what is this? These are old school right here. Look at that KB toy sticker price tag. $1.79. Leia and Wicket. I must have picked this up like at a thrift shop or a convention somewhere. Ah, oh, and then Wicket the Ewok. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, that is so old looking. What is, what is the year on this? 1983. So this was from... The original Return of the Jedi merchandising run. 
I, I appreciate this very much. I forgot that I had these. Those are those are unique indeed. And then, all right, there's another. Uh, I hope all the pieces are in there. <laughs> Vader from Revenge of the Sith. We got the Star Wars Rebels Stormtrooper helmet on the packaging. Ultra foil puzzle. Another another tin Boba Fett. And oh god, what's in here? Who knows? Probably another coloring book or some random thing. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> I had a feeling this wasn't going to be puzzle related. More of these cupcake toppers. And then just a random Anakin Skywalker keychain with a cool 3D moving image. I actually, I dig this. I know this was from, yeah, look, 2002 Lucasfilm, right under that Star Wars logo. I don't remember how or why I have this, but I appreciate it either way. I didn't realize how many of these I had in collector's tins. This looks like a two-in-one. One of these being the Vader image that you can see here, and then the other one being a Padme Anakin collage of sorts. 500 pieces for that one, and then 300 for Vader. Yeah, this had to have come out around 2011, given the Clone Wars Captain Rex image up here on the top. Another collector's tin of Darth Vader Mustafar. A thousand-piece puzzle. This thing is like the Rogue One puzzle I had. However, what's funny is I think I paid like $20 for the Rogue One puzzle. I can see there's a TJ Maxx sticker here for $5.99, so I got this thing for a steal. I bet this goes on Amazon now for like anywhere between $14 and $30, I'm going to guess. All right, and from 2008, we have this Captain Rex Clone Wars puzzle, three-floor puzzle. What is this thing? 46 pieces that's that's interesting i've never heard of a floor puzzle this thing is probably huge we've got a clone trooper some gunships in the back there anakin obi-wan captain rex himself yoda looks like christophsis is back there this is definitely from the clone wars movie damn it we just had an avalanche here as i was saying uh i can tell this is from the 2008 movie or at least the first season because of this white clone wars imaging here because after a while, they graduated to the uh, the blue Captain Rex style packaging. All right, the toad is almost empty. We're getting scarce on puzzles. We've got two more from the Clone Wars era with this Boba Fett 100 piece glow in the dark puzzle, which is pretty neat. Anakin's pod racer. And as you can tell, it has that 3D changing image. I don't know what you call that. Lenticular? Lenticular? I've never heard of that, honestly. I feel like an idiot right now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I love this one, too. I must have built it at some point, but I do not remember. And then we have another glow-in-the-dark puzzle of Luke Skywalker from Return of the Jedi. And the last one that we have, I'm surprised to see this as well. Yeah, these go together a lot more than Padme and Leia. That must have just been a one-off thing, because, like, the logo here is on the side where these three have them up top. And then you see the lightsabers on the bottom of each of these, which I enjoy. I wish I had Anakin's unopened, but like I say, that's I know for a fact I got that one when I was a kid. And I must have, I must have found these somewhere and just thought, yeah, those are cool. They, those remind me of the puzzles I had as a kid. And here are all of my Star Wars puzzles, ranging from 1983 with Return of the Jedi into the Special Edition era, into 1999 with The Phantom Menace, Going into 2002 with all of these Attack of the Clones puzzles. 2005 double-sided Revenge of the Sith Collector's 10 puzzle collection. Going into the Clone Wars floor puzzle. Here's the back of these two puzzles, by the way. The Maul 3D puzzle has a lot more to it. You got the Droidica, the Battle Droids, the Federation ship in the back, and of course Maul in the center here. Darth Vader on Mustafar and then up to current with Rogue One and The Mandalorian. The bulk and majority of my collection is from when I was a kid, and you can tell that I just kind of started collecting them less and less in the past decade. But if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed going through all of these puzzles with me. Definitely stick around and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my collection. I'll be going through action figures, lightsabers, and who knows what else. So with that said, may the Force be with you, and I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.